A lot of my practice and what I get from YouTube followers is this hurt, this just disgust or despair from being on dating apps or dating people or making friends with people who are actually fake and they just kind of led them on. No matter if you meet the person online or it's a social media friend or it's someone you actually cared about in a friendship or dating, when you get faked out or you've been used or let on, it really hurts. Most of the time when people come in and tell me this stuff, it was obvious. It was obvious from like the couple of dates they had when they tell me what happened. I would go through it and say, were there any signs then? Was your gut telling you anything? And most of the time, they were getting an inkling that something was wrong, but they overrode it with giving the other person an excuse or saying everybody has bad days. Everybody does have bad days, but not everyone hurts you or leads you on or is consistently fake because of their bad days. And when someone does that to you, they are not to be trusted. You should not, if you're dating them, don't go out with them again. We have a word we always use among practitioners. When we meet someone and they're just pouring it on too much, we call that obsequious. It's almost like they're so sweet, it's sickening. We know in our gut, our gut tells us as therapists already, be careful of this person. I've got some ways that you can know. And if you do, like when you go through these, if you see signs of this and maybe some of the friends around you, some of the people you're with, it's not necessary you cut off the relationship now, but it is necessary that you see them clearly. The reason being you need to build good boundaries. And when this person asks too much or treats you in a way, confront them with it. Say, I'm wondering why you are needing this now. Because let's face it, to be a true and good date or friend or whoever, you need to be able to be vulnerable. And fake people are terrified of being vulnerable. In fact, they're so afraid of who they are inside, so afraid of their weakness, that they need to do that fake front. Here are some of the signs. They get overly excited about things. If somebody is just too excited about good news or something you two of you are going to do together, people usually aren't like that. I would be a little bit warned. Um, ghosting. When someone ghosts you, basically they were truly a fake. And I don't care how long you dated them, that person had serious issues. They promise things they can't accomplish. They're daydreamers. They give you all these ideas, then they never follow through. They use hot and cold behavior. Like one day they're really into you, one day they think the world of you, they wanna spend all day. They may even make you feel guilty for doing what you have to do. The next day you don't hear from them. Maybe the next two days you don't hear from them. That is a fakey person. Status and connection seekers. If you're with somebody that is with you to see who you can connect them with or because you have status, that is a sign that basically it's not you they like, it's what you can provide for them. They gossip and badmouth about other people. Man, I stay clear of those people. If I ever hear anybody in my inner circle doing that, believe me, it's so noted and I really use that in regards to how I deal with them in the future. They struggle to make connections and make people like them. And that's because they're trying so hard. And you can actually observe that if you're out with them. You can see what extent they'll go to be liked by others. They seek attention and validation constantly. That's their clothes, it's what they have. They brag about who likes them. They brag about whose favorite they are, all of that. Humble bragging. Humble bragging is when you let people know something you did, but you wanted to be like real cool about it. So you say, well, I didn't deserve it, but I happened to get this award. Or I can't believe I got this award. I didn't. There were so many other more deserving people. Yeah, sure. 
uh, redirecting the conversation to themselves, no matter what you're talking about, no matter what anyone is going through, somehow it always comes back to this person. That's a faker. Only contact you when they want something. Do you have friends like that right now? Are you dating someone like that right now? If you are, you don't need to break up, but you do need to be aware of it. Put a boundary there. What are you willing to do for that person? What, are you, what extent will you put yourself out to do for that person? And make sure that that boundary is firm because they will guilt you in to perpetrating it otherwise. And they like to show off. When you meet somebody that needs to show off, that means they're trying to put a light on themselves to make them so shiny because they feel so dull inside. Don't feel bad for them. It's much more important that you are aware of it, that you have less of those people in your inner circle as compared to real, vulnerable, good people. And always, always make boundaries for yourself around what you value. Because at the end of the day, people that are fake will slowly leave someone who they feel has their head together, has good values and good boundaries to protect those.